Analytics dashboard is one of the really important components of the digital adoption platform because what it does is it provides you with a reference point around how well your learning and development efforts using the WalkMe platform are working. So on the screen you can see here, what we have is engagement. So how many users are exposed to WalkMe? How many more are engaged for the first time? We can set this up um, in different time frames and they may, may be based around release cycles or different things that you're trying to measure within your organization. As I scroll down, you can see things like the most engaging items. So a lot of the things that I went through today were walkthroughs, but you can see you can start measuring all the other different types of elements. And this is really to see what their uptake looks like. Are the resources that we're putting in place working? Um, are, they, are people actually getting through the processes that we're guiding them through or should we be looking at redesigning some of the processes because they're becoming complex or people are dropping off? So let's go and have a look at one of those in a little bit, uh, a little bit deeper. So as an example, creating an email account. So if one of the walkthroughs that we've created is creating an email account, we want to have a goal of our people actually getting through and having an email account that's been created. So you can see again, here's the users that have used that various walkthrough how many times it's been played, and how many people have completed that goal. And we can set those goals up on various different stages. And then what we get to see is how far people are actually getting through the process. So you can see, you know, there may be a situation here we want, may want to automate uh, some of these processes. But as we move further down, we can see, I'll just scroll down a little bit, as we can see on number 10, there's a 13% drop off there. So maybe it's a time to put out something like a survey and ask our users the question, is there something that there's more kind of content um, that's, that, that's required in order to be able to help them progress further on through that process? Um, in terms of some of the other different insights that we have, so looking at the uh, player, um, so this is really about helping us understand where are our users asking for help? So which parts of the system? So again, if we're going to be spending um, or investing our time in learning and development efforts, what part of the application should we really be focusing on? And this data really helps us understand that. Again, the search terms. So the search terms that people are putting into the widget, what are, are they things that we've already got content around? Um, do we feel like that our learning and development efforts are put in the right place? Or, is, or are we encountering new things that we should be focusing on um, and helping our users in those parts of the system? Really taking away the guesswork and putting some intelligence um, back into uh, where we should be focusing our efforts. We can drive down into the users. So for example, I can see Terence Matthews here um, and I can see exactly in, on, in a time frame what sort of support Terence has been using, um, how long he's spending on his onboarding tasks, um, what sort of elements that he's been looking through. So, you know, if we've got um, problem users that uh, don't want to adopt the technology, then we've got some very close, um, some very uh, good understanding in terms of what help, how they're actually helping themselves through a lot of the support elements that we have as well. Um, the next piece I would like to bring your, draw your attention to is Visions. So Visions is a new product that we've got, and it's, it's probably one of our most revolutionary products. So what Visions does is it provides you with an ability to be able to record sessions and actually go through and review them. So one of the things that I, we're seeing with a lot of our, what a lot of our customers are doing is they're actually putting Visions on their application before they deploy WalkMe. And what Visions is telling us is where are your users spending time in the systems? If they're dropping off at various points, um, how long is it taking them to complete different processes? And you can put, you can start putting all those kind of events with rules around them, and 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 give yourself the ability to be able to start recording them um, and recording those sessions. So if we kind of look at some of the sessions here, um, we've got different types of ones: um, first user engagement. Um, we have onboarding, um, and you can see some of the sessions that we have down below here. Um, and then we can have things like events. So events is, is a different way that we can um, look at different types of features. 
um, we can go through and review the occurrences um, and we can see how our users have been using those as well. 